Welcome back guys. In this episode, we are going to tackle the validation of Laravel in Vue.js. So basically what is happening is when we are hitting the save button, we are making the Ajax call, we are getting a 422 error code and all the required data, but we are not able to show it in the application, right? So if we see, we get the error response, we have data and then in that we have an errors object and that errors object has all the keys for which the um, data is wrong. Okay. So for example, if I remove this price also, I will have three keys. So data, errors and I have three, each saying the exact same message which would have come if we would have done this as a normal Laravel PHP validation, right? So we need to, in some way, uh, show these messages below each and every field, right? So what I'm going to do is create a validator class. Okay, I'll go to Visual Studio Code. Uh, let me close things a bit and concentrate only all right, that's strange. I had um, moved to a different branch. Um, let me let me close this and reopen Visual Studio Code. I think I'm on the wrong folder. Close all these and yes. Okay. So what happens is basically I do a dry run of the code before I you know present it. So I was looking at the wrong folder. It already had the code. So as you would have already seen, we will create a utils folder. Okay. Uh, this is something which I maintained where I can, you know, put some very generic, uh, JavaScript files or, you know, pretty much any, uh, code. And then, uh, across projects, I can just copy this folder and just start using them. Okay. So validation or rather valid. Yeah. Validation dot JS will be our class. We'll do export default class validation okay um, now what we are trying to do is get the error object and in our Vue.js we will call specific fields to get the specific error message right so I'll have a constructor Okay, I'll have a method get message. This is, um, you know, the message which I'll call to get the error message of a field. I'll pass the field name. Okay, I'll have a message, uh, sorry, a method which will set all the errors. So set um, messages. And let's have messages as the argument. And we will have an empty okay so let's go one by one in my constructor right I'll define this dot messages it's an empty object okay now in set messages what I'm going to do is say the empty object which is there in the constructor is equal to messages so whatever is coming as the errors object from the Laravel response, that 422 error response which we are getting, we will set that as this messages. Okay. And obviously the empty is going to make an empty object again. Now, in here, Laravel creates an array of the error messages, if you see. Right. So errors, let's say I have passed on price. So price is a key. It has an array where the message is the first item in the array, right? Now, this is done because if we have multiple validation rules, um, you know, and all of them are triggered, then it will come one, one by one. But let's only concentrate right now on the first one. Okay, it's an Ajax call. So, you know, we can uh, do that again and again. You know, it doesn't require to have a page refresh. So, what we are basically trying to do is we are saying that if 
this messages the object or rather yeah the object has field which is something which I'm going to pass from here if this exists okay then I need to return that zeroth element the first element of that array okay so this should um, be enough for us to get the validations in place so this is my form i'll import the validation from validation.js okay and in data i'll have validation i'll new up the instance and now <clears throat> in here if error dot response dot status equals 422 that's right data and status right so if that is the case this dot validation okay i have already new uh, no, newed up the instance so this dot validation dot set messages what i'm going to do is send error dot response dot data okay we are here data dot errors so what this is going to do is set the messages okay now with this done what we can basically do is go over here and let's just try out the first one which is div let's have a div with class validation message okay and the v text for this is going to be validation you know this is what we have here validation dot our function get message and we'll pass the field which is required here so item now let's see is it going to work or not hit refresh is my node watch working yes it is so refresh and all right so we have this let's quickly you know do some cosmetic changes app dot scss um i'll take this class dot this color is going to be dollar red this is what bootstrap uses and i'll set the font size to 0.8 em okay this will ensure that you know it's a little um, um you know, cosmetically looking good and also it shows in red which means there is a problem in validation okay so yes we have you know, this oh 0.8 seems to be too small I guess I'll just have it 0.9 and be happy with it. Okay. So, yep. Yeah. Is there even a change? I don't know. Um, font size 0.9 EM. Whatever. I mean, this is how it is. And if I also remove this price, now this will come so what are we doing we are basically um oh all right and one more thing if for example i have something you know corrected and then i hit the save button you know that is being you know cleared out because you know, the, uh, the message object is cleared so yeah we can have that as well so soups and one by one we are left with only one validation message to fix right now 
this is how you know we are able to show error messages for each and every field and you know it's a very generic thing you can use it um, in any kind of framework whether it is view it is react because you know basically we are not depending on any view functionality it is pure javascript this particular validation class is going to help you basically manage the errors and you know, be you know um, be able to show the messages in the ui thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel